open mine because I'm going to respect Winona's wishes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's show Patty what her gift is. Patty, we have something for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so big. What do you think it is? I have no idea. You want to open it? Yeah. Okay. I love, I love my girl so much. They shipped this to me and I don't know why. This thing that you're about to see. So nice. I have the nicest friend ever! <gasps> it's a mirror! It's a full-length mirror! It's a full-length mirror! I can take my outfits now! Aw, thank you, soldier girl! One of the activities we're gonna do later is we're gonna paint our own lantern. It's gonna be so cute. All right, with all of these punch, flower shaped punch. You can also use that snow shaped punch, star one. months off of vlogging i think i stopped in june i was just feeling so overwhelmed in my life there was so much going on my nine to five was getting extremely stressful the city has opened back up and every single one of my weekends was getting filled with social plans which is great because i love seeing my friends i love seeing my family but then i also had other things going on like i started a side business which is taking so much of my time and i just got to the point where i got burnt out the only reasonable thing I could take off my plate that I saw was vlogging because this was more so a side hobby for me and I think that helped a little bit. I hope none of this comes off as me complaining because I'm so so grateful for the life that i have and i'm so like i feel so honored and lucky i feel like i didn't have any alone time at all working from home right when i wake up i'm doing work when i end work i don't it's an, i don't really have alone time because i live with someone so i'm still the presence of another person is still here i just needed time to catch up with myself but i had so limited time of that event after event which is great but there would be days where i would have to do three events at one day and i felt like i tried so hard to be present and in the moment wherever situation i'm in but then at the back of my mind i'm like thinking about the next event that i have to go to how do i get there like hang up 
the personality or like the presence that I have to be in and I felt like I was just so busy with so many things in my life where I didn't have time to check in with myself and see how I was doing like and just give myself time and break and time to recharge and refresh right now this is the only time that I have because Jesse is playing basketball the time when I could finally gather all my thoughts and like check in with myself i think i'm getting a little bit better i took three days off from work this week so i'm really hoping that now i could utilize some time to focus on all the other things that i've been not giving in my 100 like my body could tell that i would i have been extremely stressed and overwhelmed i was gonna put on makeup and stuff but i was fuck it like i want to be real and raw with you guys i don't want to display this this persona of me like being all perfect and having the perfect skin or like looking a certain way because i don't i am breaking out so much and this is probably the most that i've broken out in a while all of this is from stress and at the end of august it got to the point where i was like i need to take control of my schedule i am always a yes girl the environment that i grew up in is to please people that's the way that i was raised is to always trying to cater to others and i think that is one of the reasons why I got burnt out because family would want to see me. I'm, I always say yes. It also comes from like guilt of not seeing my family. As a daughter of an immigrant, that it is my duty to take care of my family. So like going back to Brooklyn, but then when I do see my family, it does get very stressful and then straining on my mental health. Anytime that I do have free time, I am thinking about like, what could I do? I need to finish my September book or I need to create TikToks. I need to vlog. I need to focus on my side business so much is going on and these are all great great problems to have again i don't want it to seem like i'm complaining i'm so grateful that these are the things that i'm facing in in life a few other things that i started during my breaks of vlogging is i started therapy i found a therapist that i really really connected with he did not check off any of the lists that i wanted when i was searching for a therapist i wanted an asian a female and he's none of that i've tried female therapist and I've tried an Asian therapist and it just it didn't work out and the connection wasn't there I felt like some of them were forced I didn't feel like some of them were even should have been therapies therapists so I'm so happy with the current therapist that I found and I'm, I'm learning a lot from him we're digging into a lot of my trauma and then I also started taking Krav Maga I've never met a sport that I've always like I would look forward to because when I go work out and more so I do it because it makes me feel stronger I like the results of it but I didn't really enjoy the process of it and it was only until I took Krav Maga or self-defense or even a little bit of martial arts and boxing where I realized like I enjoy doing this like I look forward going to classes it is still very uncomfortable for me because you're you're sparring with strangers people that you never met and then getting out of the shell of speaking loudly and fighting back where it's getting me to get outside of my comfort zone and it's not just in this sport but then it passes on in other areas of my life that is it that's our little catch-up for today I'll talk to you guys soon Need some stuffed mushrooms, brush the sprouts, but I didn't get to add the honey or balsamic corn cheese. Yes, corn cheese. We got the dry hot pot cooking. You know we love some good old dry hot pot. Cheesecake. I have two flavors. Taro one and original. Oh, I love taro. Thank you so much, Mel Mel. Thank you for holding this event. We're we're gonna practice fighting today. Mel Mel's been doing BJJ. I want to see it. Jess's street style versus, oh, versus Mel Mel's trained experience. Oh, I'm street style too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that smart. I'm not that smart. What are you doing? It's not Mau Mau. It's not Mau Mau.